Now, what about the resynthesis of glycogen? So when you, the, this is uh, looking at the post-exercise and then the two-hour recovery time point, and, th and the low-carb athletes here did not get any carbohydrate during this time period, whereas the high-carb athletes did. And still, they synthesized glycogen over two hours at the same rate. So it's kind of a slightly different phenomenon here, but it's still not expected, right? I mean, if you're eating carbohydrate, you would think there'd be a higher rate of resynthesis. So how can you synthesize glycogen without any exogenous carbohydrate intake? Um, and so the question is, can there be glycogen repletion in the absence of any carbohydrate intake? And typically, I think a lot of us would have said no, um, but if you look in the literature, especially across different species, the answer is absolutely yes. There's a variety of different animal models that have demonstrated glycogen synthesis after some type of physical demand uh, and shown glycogen synthesis. The question is, how does it happen? What are the carbon sources for glycogen if it's not uh, exogenous glucose? Well, it could be lactate. Uh, lactate uh, can be recycled back to the liver and, and converted to glucose. Amino acids, uh, some are gluconeogenic and can be used to, as a source of glucose. Glycerol uh, as well, and there's a lot of glycerol being released from adipose tissue in the keto-adapted state. So this is just showing, you know, glycogen, if it's being broken down into glucose and converted to lactate within skeletal muscle, that could be released and in, in, in delivered to the liver, converted to glucose, and then the glucose could be used as a substrate to form glycogen. So it's likely that process is upregulated in the keto-adapted state. And interestingly, the transporters involved, um, the MCTs, the monocarboxylic transporters, um, don't distinguish between ketones and lactate. They're both organic acids and use the same transporter. So you'd expect they're upregulated in the keto-adapted state. I don't know anyone who's actually measured these in, um, in a human or an animal study um, in this context, though. So again, hypothetical. And interestingly, if uh, you look at the actual circulating substrates during recovery, lactate and glycerol were actually higher in the low-carb athletes post-exercise and then you see a dramatic decrease in those substrates over that two-hour recovery period. So where are they going uh, to account for that pretty dramatic lowering of blood concentrations? Uh, again, perhaps into glycogen. Again, th those carbons clearly could be recycled into glycogen. Now, I don't know anyone who's followed up on that, that data in, in any human study um, which is a little surprising. We should have probably done that by now, but um, anyone looking for a good master's thesis or doctoral dissertation, that's, uh, I think, really needs to be validated. Uh